Over the past few decades, increased maritime activity has been a result of the effect of the modern world, particularly when it comes to underway replenishment. With a collision possibly only 30 seconds away, underway replenishment is one of the US Navy's most hazardous evolutions, and it becomes considerably trickier when there is a double replenishment. However, it is not for the reasons you might assume that these ships cruise side by side rather than one ship in front of the other during this procedure, or that they don't just pause before refilling. The entire procedure is so complex which is why the focus of today's video is all about it. Hello and welcome to today's episode of High Technology. Join us as we discover just how intricate it is to move supplies like fuel and ammunition from one ship to another. If you enjoy contents like this then be sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload incredible videos like this. A general phrase used to describe all means of moving personnel supplies, weapons, and fuel from one ship to another while the vessels are underway is called underway replenishment or unrep. We'll use the US Navy phrase underway replenishment even if the rest of the world refers to it as replenishment at sea. Unrep enables ships to stay at sea for extended periods of time, particularly in regions of the world without friendly resupply ports. In the first approach, there are often two ways to unrep. The transfers are carried out using the links between the supply ship and the receiving ship. In the the second approach where the ships are not connected, this is referred to as alongside connected replenishment or CONREP. Instead, the cargo is transferred from the supply ship to the receiving ship using helicopters. Vertical replenishment or VERTREP is the name given to these techniques. Nonetheless, the two techniques have different goals. Delivering cargo rather than fuel is essentially what vertical replenishment is concerned with. Additionally, each delivery is normally limited to 4,000 pounds in terms of load weight when transferring our Armaments, operators, and the supply ship hook up special ordnance links to the helicopter using a cargo hook that is installed in vertrap helicopters. Conventional cargo nets are employed for non sensitive cargo. The cargo is lowered onto the deck after a slow hover by the helicopter once it has arrived at the receiving ship, even if more than one helicopter may be used to convey the cargo from the supply ship. The load is then manually released by a helicopter crewman. In comparison to connected replenishment, the overall transfer rate is lower. Vertical replenishment happens frequently. Although logistically easier than connected replenishment, it is nonetheless more dangerous because there are hazards to the loading crew from the helicopter and the load, as well as possible risk to the helicopter from FOD. Vertrep has the benefit of allowing the supply ship to stay a safe distance away from the receiving ship. As you'll see in a moment, connected replenishment, also known as CONREP, is far more logistically challenging than vertical replenishment. After all, we're we're taking about two enormous ships that are less than 200 feet apart and are connected by numerous steel cables while the steam side by side at a pace of 12 to 14 knots. Additionally, they will be transferring gasoline and goods for hours in that situation. It might also take days to restock aircraft ships. It should be abundantly evident by this point that close cooperation between the two ships is necessary for a connected replenishment to be successful. What method of coordination is used? Employee flags. The alphabet-related international code terms such as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and others are presented by 26 flags. Each flag has a distinct meaning and can be used individually or in combination. Even if radio communication is permitted, flag hoist signals alone can be used to carry out a full replenishment. The conning officer must be aware and comprehend the flag signals used during these silent replenishment procedures, which are very frequently used by ships. We won't go into the meanings of each flag but as an illustration, this flag Romeo denotes preparedness. The Romeo flag is hoisted by the supply ship when it is ready to start, directing the receiving ship to approach. The guide ship which is usually the supply vessel determines the path and pace of the movement during the replenishing operation. The approach ship is supposed to be the other ship, with transmitting and receiving stations aligned at a lateral separation of roughly 160 feet. The approach ship's objective is to approach the guide ship and maintain that position throughout the replenishment. It may take the gunner a few tries until the incoming ship is in the ideal position for a firing a shot line, but once it is, it is sent across. Due to the fact that both vessels are moving, it is necessary to take into consideration the apparent wind. Flags are also placed every 20 feet along the phone and distance line, which is also commonly referred as the PND line. This line is used to draw in the shot line. Once the PND line has been crossed, the work of maintaining an acceptable space 
spacing between the ships by utilizing flags that signify the distance that separates them from one another is made considerably simpler. Additionally, talks between bridges that are powered solely by sound can take place using the PND line. In a similar manner, the lines that must be pulled across in order to assemble the transfer rig are done so. When refueling at sea, a stream rig is often the vessel of choice. The term standard tension replenishment alongside ways, abbreviated as stream, more or less refers to the act of suspending a tension span wire between two ships in order to refill the tension. After that, trolleys are utilized in order to attach the span wire to a lot of hose saddles. When the crew on the ship that is receiving the hose finally gets it far enough in so that the probe can latch onto the receiving end, we can begin our operations. After that, the real transfer hose is suspended in between the saddles which are responsible for carrying the weight of the host. Due to the ship's respective positions, the larger ships frequently put up multiple transfer rigs to facilitate faster transfers or the transfer of a variety of store types. Up to 8,700 pounds of cargo can be transported on each pallet, which is twice as much as what helicopters can transport during vertical replenishment. You can bring anything on board, including products and weapons. Another thing to keep in mind is that almost all replenishment ships are designed to service two receivers simultaneously. With one being restocked at each location, this is known as double underway replenishment. Both locations are capable of supplying the majority of ships, except for the aircraft carriers of the US Navy. On aircraft carriers, the island is situated to the starboard side, and that is the only location from which transporters can receive supplies. Flags and placards are used to communicate between the ships during the replenishing procedure, but the staff also have on collared helmets. Each color designate a certain person's function in relation to the replenishment process. White means officer, white with green cross safety officer, white with red cross as the corpsman, yellow rig captain, green as signalman, red as line throwing gunner, brown as winch operator, purple as the winch watcher or repairman, blue as the line handler, orange as the checker or supply personnel, and finally gray means all others. Urine has been investigated as a possible source of clean energy. However, the fuel sample that is being examined here is just being checked for contamination. After the process of restocking has been successfully done, the fuel hose is then disconnected, and all of the other cables and connections are carried back aboard the ships. The public address systems of many ships in the United States Navy are used to play a song that has become their anthem. As they move away from the supply vessel that is being used for the replenishment procedure, the ships of the Royal Australian Navy raise their own distinctive flag. Take for example the flag that is flown by a professional sports team that is affiliated with the ship's home port. The first technique for restocking supplies was called stern fueling, and it involved the receiving ship following closely behind the supply ship. And despite the fact that this is a substantially safer method because even a slight deviation in the course of the ships won't result in a crash, stern fueling does have certain drawbacks. It is limited to providing supplies to a single vessel at a time and can only send fuel, not cargo. However, the role that it plays in the replenishment plan is primarily limited to serving as an escort for refueling convoys. During the time that they are being reloaded, warships could be extremely vulnerable. Therefore, it would be preferable if the transfer was completed as quickly as it could be. The ships keep their speed between 12 to 14 knots constant in order to improve their ability to control the ship and lessen the relative motion that is created by the waves. Any problem whether it be on the inside or the outside of one of the ships or all of them may make an emergency breakaway during a storm necessary. It is almost inevitable that fatalities will happen from a number of accidents involving people falling overboard when the weather is poor. Accidents can be extremely hazardous, despite the fact that linked replenishment continues to be the one-stop shop for delivering all varieties of material as quickly as humanly possible for the United States Navy. And that folks wraps up today's video and as always thank you for watching this episode of High Technology. Be sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, this is High Technology. See you guys on the next video.